Functional Cranial Relief, the ultimate neurological, neurological and structural treatment. For more information about FCR, see functionalcranialrelease.com. The more I uh, read about it, the more I liked the idea, and I, I, I tried, and it worked great. And um, have you been using a CPAP machine? Been using CPAP machine for a couple of years now. I like many many other treatments for my uh, sleep apnea and for my fatigue and and, uh, uh, and nose and and, and uh, nasal uh, congestion, and uh, nothing really worked uh, well. Uh, Dr. John, thank you very much for. Uh, the treatment yesterday, I feel way better. Uh, and it's in a way, it's a good thing that uh, you did only my, one side of my uh, nose here, because I feel I can I can tell the difference, and there's a huge difference. I can breathe much better, and uh, it feels great. And I'm looking forward to, for the rest of the treatment now. Good. And uh, I just, uh, you know, I have no words uh, uh, to to express my appreciation and my uh, thanks to you. Careful preparation is done before FCR treatment. Balancing of the spine is important. Adjustments to one side of the body versus the other help balance out the brain. And this can be very important when it comes to treating sleep apnea and snoring because proper brain function is going to drive a part of the nervous system called the autonomic nervous system. So we didn't have a gag reflex. Uh, before we did treatment, it was we've done one treatment with him, and here we have good gag reflex there and a good gag reflex there. And notice All right, so this is the deal: you have a part of your nervous system called the autonomic nervous system, and it's driven by a nerve called the vagus nerve. And if this is operating properly, you're going to have a good gag reflex and you're going to have a firm palate. This is very important for someone suffering from sleep apnea and snoring. And it's critical for us to understand where this is coming from in order us to gauge treatment for you. Okay, now what I'm doing is specific testing to determine how I'm going to position this patient and exactly where I'm going to place a specific balloon that will be briefly inflated inside one of his nasal passages. I used to really like struggle to, to, to make it uh, through the day, at least for the past 10 years or so. Uh, yesterday after the started the, the treatment, not even through the treatment, I had so much energy that I, I just, I was so happy, I was so active during the day uh, until, uh, until midnight and it was great. <laughs> and, and then I woke up at 7 uh, this morning, I was, I was fine and I'm really I'm really glad, you know, I, 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 I went for it. Well, nice. this is what happens when you get more oxygen to your brain. Mm -hmm. uh, your brain has been suffocating for, for many years. It's been choking. Mm -hmm. Definitely. This is Patients like this that have been suffocating from oxygen can greatly benefit from EWOT or exercise with oxygen therapy. See O2Exercise.com for more information about this great therapy. I can breathe now. I can um, I breathe, I can breathe deep. I feel that all the airways are open, opened up, and and I can take good deep breath. All the airways are open, opened up, and and I can take good deep breath, and um, just have more energy, and I can um, make it through the day with you know with more being more active and uh, I work longer hours and everything just you know general feeling is, is much better right. yeah, much better than before hi this is Dr. John thanks for joining me if you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurological conditions that no one seems to have answers for please send them to functionalcranialrelease.com you can contact me either by phone or you can email me at askdrjl at gmail.com and remember if healing is possible consider it to be within your reach this is dr john thanks for joining me bye for now